<clears throat> so this is my CO2 scrubber and uh, I'm going to show <clears throat> how it works and uh, uh, first I'm going to take it apart and show the in inside part of it and then I'm going to fill it with the uh, the absorbent material here. So it comes apart like this. It's got these three uh, threaded rods going through them through it. It holds the this top piece on. And this is a this is a 12 volt motor here. Uh, I believe it's uh, seven and a half watts. And so it just pops off like this. <clears throat> and uh, the material goes in here. And this goes down into the material, the absorbent material, and it screens it. It pulls air in through this piece here. And I put this on here so if I don't, once it settles, if it settles a little bit, it's not going to draw air through this screen. It'll, it'll just draw down here. And so theoretically, I could have a lower uh, level of uh, the absorbent material, and, and it, it should still work. It should, since it can't draw any air through through this this area here. So. I'm going to put it back together, and then this this seals around this edge here. There's a groove in here, and uh, same with this here, except this is this is permanently on there. And then also this this is off the bottom by uh, a couple inches, so it can actually draw through the bottom as well. So I'm going to put it back together here. got to fit in that groove and then these wing nuts go on here to secure it And then uh, <clears throat> I'm going to make sure it's on there real good so it's real tight. So then I've got these, uh, these corks here where I fill, this is where I fill the, uh, the absorbent material right here. So I'm going to do that right now. Quite a bit of material, probably a little bit of a little overkill here. It actually holds this much material. I haven't measured it out yet, but it's a heck of a lot of material. I might be able to uh, reduce that if I lengthen that block blocked area. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm using the coarser uh, absorbent. This uh, absorbent is uh, between two and five millimeters thickness. So um, it can uh, better transference of the 
air passage on, in this in this situation. And then I'm gonna shake it to even it out. Some of the finer material is coming through a little bit, but I don't think that's going to be an issue, really. Just about there. So that's about, that's pretty close to where it's going to be. And then what I do is I have these little plugs I put in for the seal the top. And it's ready to go. And then I'll, you know, I have a little battery here, I'll plug it in. sucking through. It's so dispersed you can't really, it's pretty hard to tell, but we are getting airflow out through here, so there is airflow. And I can, I can feel a little bit of something. And so, there we go. And so now I'm going to, that's, that's how it'll, run in the sub like that. I'm going to have a little mounting bracket and a sub for that. Okay, so then I'm going to show how it um, how I would remove the material now. So then <clears throat> after 
say we're done with the dive. Bring this back. Unscrew these. And then if you could get a shot right in here when I pull it up, you can see the material in there. So then you can see how much material is actually in there. It's quite a bit. And then this would just we would just dump this out. Uh, for a new batch and that's pretty much it there we go bye